Ah, Slay the Spire. The roguelike video game inspired by board game mechanics like deck building to become the deck building roguelike video game has now gone full circle to now become the board game based on the video games it was now a deck building board game based on a deck building roguelike video game based on board game mechanics. Did you get all that? Anyway it's arrived so I went for basically the all in pledge for the game on Kickstarter and it's here so let's just check out what's in the box. Although this I feel like is a bit more than six kilos. So first up we've just got a nice big cardboard box here. Taking a look inside of that. Oh, it's a smaller box. And there we go, we've got our Slade Aspire exclusives for the board game. So we'll check out those in a moment. Then a piece of paper, which is blank because underneath it we have our collector's edition. Oh, and that's one hefty box. So just putting this out the box. And that piece of paper under it, just blank. But you can just see, this is a huge box. Huge. It's as big as my hand. It's almost like, oh, feel that weight. Almost like a Nemesis size box for comparison, I guess. But it's uh, huge. And let's just check out what's actually inside. I mean, I probably could have flipped it over to have a look at the back before I started unwrapping it. And there we can see all the advertised contents in the box. Uh, nice and uh, not too cluttered. It's also got obviously this sort of where you can feel the printing. But let's check it out. Longest box pull ever. First up then, rule book. And this is just gonna be a standard sort of rule book thing. Tell us how to play the game, give us some picture examples. All of our four characters. Nice to see they've still got pretty much the same original art from the game. Even got some of the extra stuff. Act four boss ascensions, daily climbs. Interesting. And then we've got upgrades and items reference. And I'm assuming this is similar to whatever we'd have in the game. So it's got uh, all your card lists, uh, colorless upgrades, relics. Boss relics, potions. Be interested to find out what they do in this game compared to the actual version. Uh, storage guide. Here's how to use your storage, yeah? For your collector's edition. On the back as well. It's got about sleeved cards. Oh, I've got a correction here. So, they've uh, got an error on page 20. It's not something I'm going to go over yet, but I'll cross that when I come to it. Then we've got a punch sheet. And it's nice when they've done one of these things where um, they print off the corner so you can pull out the punch sheet quite easily. But I've already had two tokens punched out by the looks of it. And this coin's kind of falling out, but it's like I'm... Oh, there it is. Well, that one was hanging under the back. This one's gone completely, unless I can find it. Which is probably 10 poison, I guess. Yeah, it's just under there. Oh, three poison. Ten. Oh, ten and three. Double sided. Because, yeah, as you can see for that, they're all double sided on the back. And then here's the shop. So, standard card removal service. You can buy cards and potions as well. Nice little reminder on the back as well. And our board. So, obviously, there's the Act One board. And it looks like we've got some events are fixed and some events are going to be randomly determined what they could be. And Act 1 on the back as well. They are just alternative sort of boards, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's harder or more players, but there are a couple of differences I can see. Act 2 as well. And there we have our Act 2. Again, yeah, there's a leak that's gone from there that appears on that board. Here we have our 
character sheets, I guess. Nice dual printed. Hit points, block, energy. Hit points, block, energy. Cubes as well. And another one. And another one. Just quickly grab this boss health tracker, maybe? Health tracker something. And then I've got a nice storage area. Not filled this yet, but obviously I saw in the leaflet that will hold everything. Bag colour cubes. Obviously used for marking stuff on the dual layer boards. We've got an A here. Oh, I can hear that. Is it an A? V? A? I thought, but it's got money in it, whatever it is. Oh yeah, look at these ones and fives. Very nice, very nice. At the usual, silica gel. Do not eat. Dice and a foot meeple. Possibly for displaying where you are on the map, I guess. Or use it if you can get hold of a Mario meeple to go stomping on some Goombas. And then you know, we'll do our neoprenes. Starting with the ironclad to begin with. And obviously these are just all the nice player mats, player board, draw, discard. I guess it's in your play area. These are all the kind of nice stitched edges neoprenes as well. And I'm not going to go through the rest as they're all just going to be similar before character neoprene play areas. Although we have a fifth mat over here. Which looks like it could just be enemies. And this is... No, oh, I'm not, not certain. Monsters, question marks, elites, events. Maybe these are like uh, your decks of cards and that's where you keep them during the game to draw from, perhaps. Okay, well let's now get rid of this into the second layer. Oh, some more silica gel. So to start with, we've got miniatures. This guy's trying to escape. And if we just grab the other ones as well. So we'll have the Ironclad and the Silent and the Watcher. Hey guys, say hello. So you can see here, you've got some fairly nice details. These look like they'd be quite interesting to paint, including bases with details on them as well. Yeah, there we go, that's some minis. And then just, looks like we've got down here a load of cards. Uh, so this is our mini deck. I can see some potions in there. And so, yeah, we've got all of these sort of cards. Potions, treasure chests. I think those are relics, maybe, keys. These, these, oh, these are relics and potions. No, these are relics, sorry. I got confused by the blood vial. Then we've got the potions. Um, oh, curses, I think, no, oh. Rare relics, I think, possibly. And shard, 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 shard. Whoops. So there was a couple more cards I missed off there. It was quite tight fitting, but we don't need to see everything. But then just here, we had our bosses. So you got the Act 1s, the Act 2s, and the Act 3s. And then we've also got this one here. Stop. Do not open until you reach Act 4 or Ascension Level 10 when you do read the back of the card. And they've cleverly put that on the same on both sides so you can't actually sneak a peek at it. Where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Let's go with the back corner here and work our way around. Sleeves! So they're just the regular Slay the Spire sleeves. For sleeving cards. Next up looks like some dividers, I think. Uh, yeah, dear Viders. And what's this here? Baggies? Well, not just any baggies, but printed baggies for keeping all of our stuff in. And a clear baggie for whatever I fancy. Now we're getting on two cards. Here's all our Axe 1 cards anyway. Uh, oh, that's one. Oh, 
So interesting looking stuff on their backs. Minions. Elites, and this what else. And first encounter. Oh, so you've got some starter stuff. Always guaranteed to begin with, and then you've just got some other guys here. And events. Follow that up with generic cards. I can see a curse. So these are all just generic bat cards. Yeah, although I guess if they've got curses and stuff, it gets sleeved to go in your decks. Um, so in discard pile, pay for something to exhaust. Not sure what these are all about. Oh, these must be um, negative status effects, I guess. Yeah, these are all the negative statuses you can get. Although it looks like they've simplified it a bit. Big chunky pack here. The Chosen. These are the act free stuff. I'll leave them to one side. Ascension. I'll leave them to one side too. Oh, an even bigger deck. Oh, these are like characters. And so this just looks like it's going to be starting cards, grey boarded, black cards, all your upgrades you can get. And, ooh, gold border for the rares. I didn't see any uncommon looking cards. Double sided, I didn't see any difference, although now I realise I think double sided for upgrading them. Yeah, so after image, after image upgrade. Actually, that's the regular side, these are the upgraded sides. Wraith form, wraith form. Yeah, that's why they're gold bordered. Oop. And obviously, because you get all the sleeves included, so you can sleeve them, so it doesn't matter that they're not double sided, uh, that they are double sided and don't have unique backs. And move over here, this is obviously going to be the rest of the character decks. Yep, so if we're just going to start flicking through, here we're going to get all our orbs and such on the regular side, the rare cards. And then we get to the next starting deck. I don't think there's any uncommon cards, or there might be, I don't know there is uncommon cards. They just don't have fancy coloured borders like the rares do. Yeah, so it's a shame the gold or rare upgraded don't have a gold border like the rare normal. Ooh. Golden ticket, it's only one sided. Is it meant to be like that? Maybe because you can't upgrade it? Yeah, what about the golden ticket that was here? Oh yeah, so that's all the golden tickets are one sided only. I'll go to the back here to see what these are. Ah, stop, don't have to unlock. It's like the actual game, you have to play it through multiple times before you can unlock some of your cards for your characters. Probably leveling them up a bit. Here's our starting card. Yeah, Nyao's Blessing. And it looks like you just randomly choose which one you're going to get. And what do we have here? Some more little dividers for the little cards, I guess. Solo, boss, relics, watcher, defect, ironclad, silent. Yeah, some more mini dividers for the mini cards. I guess the only thing left to look at is sleeves, I estimate. And all just looks like the exact same sleeve backs. So it doesn't look like you have to use different sleeves for each character. You just have to sort your character's deck out separately, I, I figure. Which is probably what you'd use your dividers for afterwards. But there we are, that is, including all the premium sleeves included, that is the content of the collector's edition box. However, don't go away just yet because it's time to look at the exclusives. Obviously, taking a better look, you can see we've got a playmat now for the merchant. We've got some heart keys, foil cards, blank cards, a nice dice. Opens up here. Check these guys out. So at the back we've got our shop. 
Neoprene Matte Edition. Not for sale. Uh -huh. And we have our nice foil pack. With our blank cards. Before we get to our oh, look at foil backed on the backing. Woohoo! Shiny, shiny. These do look really nice. And the fact that the game comes with all the sleeves means you can use them without any worry. I've had a couple of previous games with foil cards where. For one thing, they weren't double-sided for it anyway. I guess that's because of the backs. But then you were worried about using them and scratching them up and everything. And when these are all sleeved up, you'll be able to like just stick them all in, in there without any care in the world. And these all look very nice. Golden ticket. And then more spare cards. They're not foiled, sadly. Got here, lovely heart key sections and that will replace the tokens here we go oh to obtain to obtain to obtain nice claw dice i can't quite remember what the claw mechanic was unless this is just a dice with claws on it as a regular dice and it's not used for the claws we finally have a nice claw pack booster pack so ooh, it's got a nice little tear bit there, easy to open. Well, not really now, it's just the corner. Oh, it feels like opening up a booster pack. It's essentially what it is. Aren't you meant to do that thing where you turn around and put, put two to the back or something and then do it? Like, I, I can't remember. Claws, 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 claws. Using the claw pack. Claw, claw. Yeah, there we go. That is now I think in the box. That was everything packed into the box. And when I say packed, I mean packed. They say collector's edition and they're not lying. This is 100% a collector's edition version. And all the exclusives are just a nice bonus. Anyway, yes, they have all the contents of these. Now, if you haven't got a copy, don't worry. I'm sure you can just find an online video game version of this board game, which probably won't be as good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have some links popping up to follow the game or the series when the video is available. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.